Hello everyone, I'm Nifim. I'm here to show you how to upgrade your Conf UI to the new UI and actually upgrade the software itself. And also on the way we will install the, the manager. Okay, I'm here a very a clean install of a Conf UI, but this version is very old version, like it's 001. And uh, you can see here in the versioning of uh, the releases of the Conf UI itself, you can see that, that this is actually the almost the, the first release. Okay. Now the Conf UI is upgrade uh, updated quite frequently, and you can see in the in the code we are now in GitHub, the place where uh, you can share project code and uh, manage the the source control of the, of the code itself. And you can see that the code is updated quite frequently. Here you can see it five hours ago. Now, the version that I installed, it's, uh, it's quite old. It's like from the end of June. And it's two months of the project to a progress. Now, I want to show you how old it is. You can see here that the UI, you will see the, the, the new UI soon. But you can see that we, we have all, uh, already the first beta of the new UI. If I will click on it, you, you can see that we are jumping between them in the background. Now, I will keep the, the old version and we need to install it. Now, as you see, we don't have the manager here. So we are going to install the manager. Now, there are some pitfalls that, uh, that, that can happen here. We, so I will uh, walk you through all of them. So let's start. First of all, let's see the, the, the command line itself. Uh, this is my uh, co uh, Confi uh, command line, the, the PowerShell or CMD, up to you. I will close the server. Now, you, you can see that the server closed by a call C. Now, I will put yes. Now, there are times when the server will not shut down. You will do the, the control C and the server will not shut down. It means that you won't see the, the, the reconnecting uh, a message here. In this case, you will need to open the, the task manager. Okay. Now, the, the task manager, uh, in the top of it, you will see a uh, Python. Let, let me show you how it looks like by running it again. I will run the, the, the config word. Ignore those. Now, you, you can see that you have now a Python. So if the process did not stop, okay, you, you need to go to the task manager, you open it by control shift escape, go into to the processes, click on Python, right click and end task. And you can see that you have the same message in the, in the, in the conf UI. Okay, the same message is here. Now, you can see, uh, da, 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 yes. Okay. Now the it's it, it's dead. Okay, so I, I ended the I ended it. Now let's go to the to the custom model, custom nodes. Now I move to to the folder of the of the custom uh, of the custom nodes. Now now we need to install the the manager. How to install it? Quite simple. You're going to the to the GitHub, copy the, the, the URL, come to the command line, do git clone and enter. This will get all the data, blah blah blah, and install it. Now let's go to the config folder. Okay, and run again the, the command. In my case, it's run NVIDIA GPU because I have a GPU of NVIDIA. And let's start. This window is the old one. Second, it's it installing the dependencies and everything. The first time it will be uh, slow. Okay, good. We create a new one. Now, the the red the red boxes are missing uh, 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 nodes and missing uh, modules. 
we'll take off we'll take care of it in the future videos don't worry now you can see here below that i have the manager okay why i need the, the manager let's open it and hide the cmd now the the, the manager itself uh, gives you the option to update config and update uh, everything technically so i can up, upgrade the config and all the and all the the nodes and update the config only and fetch the updates without installing them okay in the same time so let's do update all okay and you see, as i, as I uh, uh, show you before this is still the old version of, uh, of config so let's do update okay config has been successfully updated okay now let's uh, Retard it. Now I will show the same day again. You can see that now it is restarting. Ta -ta -ta. Good. Now what happened? What is this white screen? It's a small issue that I that I uh, saw in a different uh, uh, upgrade. You just need to send on it a five to refresh, and that's it. Okay, this is all. So don't don't panic. It's only something in the UI, and it's working well. It's working well now. Now, let, let's open the, the manager. It looks the same, but let's open the the settings, and now you see a totally different settings. Okay. It, uh, it's a new version, it's updated, it's much better, etc. Now, the, the top beta that, that we saw in the previous uh, settings, now if you scroll down, you can see here menus, beta, top. Okay? Now everything changed. You see that, that we have the, the new UI, and now even the settings, if you remember before, it was on, on the top, now it moved here, and we have much better UI now. So you have the queue and everything in the same time. Um, yeah, that's it. It's, uh, it's working. Okay. Um, in, the next, in the next videos, we will get much deeper into each part of the UI here. The clip, the model, the, uh, the VAE, VAE itself what it means, the latent, etc. And then I will explain you each part of them in details and also how to work with, how to work with the UI better. Because it has lots of goodies in the UI that will make your life much easier and it's not going to be so uh, complex to work with it. Okay? Thank you very much and goodbye. See you in the next video. Oh, and give me a like and subscribe. It will help me. Thanks.